That's, and like I say, this is where all the magic happens, right, right, right here. Yeah. It's cold, yeah. but you can feel the air yeah. when they're cold, how it flows through them. Yeah. And it is cold right now. Yeah. Or it'd be a little brighter with there. Plain blank, yeah. and after we've routed them like we did a while ago, we come up with these. They're mirrored, yeah. so they're the same. Yeah. Because if you don't get it right, the the the, the air better, doesn't flow right, right. Right, and it'll give you the breathiness. It'll give you choppiness. Yeah. It just it doesn't sound clear. Right. For the Plains Indians, they were uh, cording flutes. Right. They use them for cording flutes up here. You know, I, I imagine they were yeah. cording flutes. Right. I, I, you know, I don't know that much. Yeah. But then we've discussed, you know, the 200 years of influence yeah. before the westward migration. Yeah. Now we'll take this hole. This is our two-cylinder hole. Just kind of clean it up a little bit. Inner and outer. Yep. Yeah. Then we turn it over. And we take and we use the flat side down. Yeah. Because we want to shape that. And that needs and to be. Angle. Yep. It's got to be at about 37 to 45 degrees. Optimum. And then you'll look and you see I've got a little. See how thick that little edge is? Oh, yeah. There? Yep. So I got to take a little bit more off. So you try to. Probably make it about, about eighth of an inch, maybe or six. Yeah, it really, it's supposed to be uh, oh, about one fifteenth, I guess it is. Okay. Yeah. But it depends on what sound you're looking for. Yeah. Like I was telling you that. You so each angle would give it a different sound. Well, it, the the thickness of that edge yeah. will change the sound. See now, that's pretty thin now. Yeah. But it's not quite thin enough. Right. But yeah, you're you're fixing to start on an adventure. <laughs> Re-adventure. Yep. Reconnect with the old. Reconnect with the old. Yeah. And that's what it's about. Yeah. You know, for me, when I got involved with this, you know, it's this was taken away from people. Yeah. You know, I, when oh, I yeah. moved out here, I was surprised that there were no flute players or makers yeah. out here. David Sinapass made a few flutes but yeah. he's not making them i don't think we have hawk henry's yeah and the, the young guy that was there at the uh, basket maker show they're the only ones i know up here that make them right and that's nobody yeah this will be the flu where yeah where the air comes up travels through the flu it'll have the block over it yeah and that will uh, focus the air to the to a certain the ramp. distance or uh this this ramp yeah i usually make it about five eighths of an inch long. Yeah. Or you you can go longer. So that's going to connect both of those. Right. right. This is going to connect these hole this those. this hole with this hole. Yeah. Some guys they ramp right up right up to here. So oh yeah. This will be ramped all the way. Wow. Uh, I like to have a little short area. Does that give a different sound? It must give a different sound, right? Well, it it settles the air. It gives that air time to settle. Yeah. Where if it's shooting right up and out, right, the air doesn't really settle down. Right, I think. Yeah. Now there are engineers that will, you know, they'll argue things with you. <laughs> Just from my experience, I, I leave about a five eighths inch. That's enough. It compresses that air, sends it across the splitting edge. Yeah. On some of my flutes, I'll even make it longer. Oh, I yeah. have some that it's probably an inch and a half long the flu yeah and that calms it down even more 